Welcome back. Appreciate you signing back into the Los Pollos Hermanos, a.k.a. Seattle Warner's Family Channel. I'm impersonating Walter White tonight in some form. Back here, chained up in back, is Jesse Pinkman. In the other room, we got Skinny P and Badger. So Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, they pulled off the big one, but they weren't smart. We're going to be smart about what we're doing here. So if you're interested on the blue, stay tuned. And you too can make yourself millions of dollars. Okay, Chili Dog? Let's see what we got going. <laughs> All right, G. Listen, we're going to put something together right now that's never been done before. It is our own recipe. And uh, we're not going to tell you what it is. You watch this cook. You try to figure it out, all right? Would you cut me off? Yo, what up, people? Um, hey, this is, who are we? The Seattle Warners. Seattle, hey. And what? Los Pollos Hermanos. Um, so the first thing you'll need to make this mystery dessert is half a cup of water. And make sure you're using one of the heavy-duty saucepans that we've been using for our last couple desserts. Three quarters of a cup of light corn syrup. I'm gonna need to get a spoon to break all that out. Then you want to add two cups of sugar. This I already measured it out, but I put it in this easy to go container. Easy to go. <sighs> this is the mystery Christmas dessert for this year. First time ever. Wake up and smell the roses. Um, about, I'm going to use a little bit more than two tablespoons of raspberry extract. Swoop. That's a pretty color. No, it is barely. You need any other color? I got it. You got colors over there? Yep. Alright, alright. You, you got any in the mystery? I'm gonna do three. Alright, you got any in the mystery? You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got red color? Oh, it's that! What'd you think I was gonna <laughs> I don't know, man. And then add some food coloring. About the same amount. You can add more once before you got it on the stove. And then, no. No way. Yeah. Well, mystery. That's, that's a mystery. And the mystery magoo. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at that. <coughs> I'm just coughing on some. So, so let's see if I even got the original brand up here. Mm -hmm. I just feel bad. I got that's got mixtures. Yeah, this in general, that's the mystery stuff. I'd probably put a teaspoon in that. A teaspoon meaning, yeah, let's see that. Mm -hmm. Mystery like that, or like double. Mm, you can, you, that, yeah, you, you can make that a full cup, or full, full scooper. Dude, 
move. Look, it went right in. Sweet. What a shot. And not now... Even, not even a little shake of what I just showed you? No. And now we're going to take this over to the, the stove. And get the heat cranking up. Let me see. And I need to whisk. A whisk. W-I-S-K. And I'm going to bring over the raspberry extract. You can use any kind of extract. I just prefer raspberry. And make sure you have a candy thermometer that goes up to at least 400 degrees. And something else is to make sure to line a pan like this with tin foil and um, cover it in with some like ham or rub, um, rubbing alcohol? No, I was going to say that. I so. <laughs> Vegetable oil or butter to make sure our item doesn't stick. Alright. Well, that sounds good. Gonna cook for a while. We'll be right back. Okay, what's happening? Well, now that it's boiling, once it starts boiling, you want to immediately stop stirring and you'll be done with your whisk or whatever item you use to stir. And now you're gonna wait with the candy thermometer until it reaches 300 degrees. Sweet. And then you d immediately take it off the burner and let it sit until the bubbles stop bubbling. What a mystery, what a mystery. Any guesses? A yum. We're cooking, still cooking. How long would you say we've been in this? 20 minutes? Uh, 10. 10? Seems like 20. Okay, listen, Papa Smurf. We hit 300 degrees, and now we're going to let that bubble down. Until the bubbles stop breaking at the surface. He means, the, oh, I see. They're busting down. Oh, sweet. Let's... Okay, check it. See? Bubble's gone. Now we're going to give it a shot. Uh, would you like me to handle that? It's a heavy thing. Yeah. It's a heavy thing. Uh, okay. So now we're moving it over here and we're going to pour it all in to the pan. <laughs> a yum. And depending on your pan size, it might not still be in completely a complete pan, and that's oh, okay. Oh man, it looks pretty pure to me. I'm saying 98%. And that's good, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. I need a 
don't waste none of this. <laughs> My heart's dying for whatever it is. I can't wait to see it. I know. And now you wait until it has completely cooled and hardened. So you can either let it sit overnight or however long it's going to take, depending on your room temperature. Uh, yeah. So, so, baby, make me love you. Just make me love you, girl. It's like, baby, make me love you. Yo, you gotta make me yeah. love you, girl. Come on, baby, make me love yeah. you.